USS Nevada BB-36 was launched in 1914 and with constant modernization served in both world wars. At that time, Nevada was a leap in technology with many new features. She had triple gun turrets, used oil instead of coal for fuel, steam turbines for greater range, and the use of all or nothing armor principle. These features made Nevada and her sister ship Oklahoma the first US Navy standard type battleships. On December 7, 1941, during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Nevada was the only battleship that got underway. She was hit by a torpedo and six bombs, forcing the crew to beach the ship to prevent it from sinking. After extensive repairs at Puget Sound Navy Yard, she returned to service in late 1942. She was supporting the Normandy invasion on June 6, 1944, providing shore bombardment. In 1945, she was in service on the Pacific, assisting the invasions of Iwo Jima and Okinawa. After the war, the Navy decided she was too old for retention, so the battleship was used for target practice, then as a test subject for atomic weapons tests at Bikini Atoll and Marshall Islands. She was damaged and radioactive, but still afloat, and finally got decommissioned in August 1946. Two years later, she was towed out to sea near Hawaii for target practice again. The gunfire from other ships was unsuccessful in sinking Nevada, so she was finally brought down with an aerial torpedo. In May 2020, it was announced that Nevada's wreck was discovered by a joint expedition of Ocean Infinity and Search Incorporated. Nevada is located at a depth of 15,400 feet off the coast of Hawaii. Her wreck lies upside down in a large debris field with the turrets and the torn of bow and stern. The expedition also located her masts part of the bridge and one of the Sherman tanks which was placed on the deck for the atomic bomb test. The number 36 is still visible on the stern. <laughs>